Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I've got this shabby chic vintagey looking themed card but the main purpose of my card or my video today is to share with you how I made the little bee uh, that uh, features on there and the star of our video is the ladybug punch or the ladybug builder punch to give it its proper name uh, in the uk we call it a ladybird um, but it's 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 the same thing so i'm going to start with a piece of black basic black cardstock and then i've got some strips of yellow i've chosen to use so saffron uh, but you could use Daffodil Delight or Crushed Curry. It just gives you a, a darker effect. I've simply cut some strips of, of, of the card using my paper trimmer and to try and get them as, as uh, excuse me, <coughs> oh dear, thin as I possibly can. So you can see that they're sort of different widths. So I'm going to choose one of them that um, I... I I, I prefer so I'm just going to use some adhesive uh, you could use your snail um, sorry stamp and seal looks like this one is nearly out good job we got a fresh one here you don't need a lot so I'm just gonna just pop a little bit on there and I'm just going to lay some strips down here and then add another one. Like that. Then I'm going to get my paper snips and I'm just going to cut those two pieces off. And then I'm just going to put uh, lay a couple more down. I'm not too worried about getting them evenly spaced. I don't think I've ever seen a bee settle long enough to be able to check whether his stripes are evenly spaced. I'm looking basically for the effect rather than accuracy. So there are my pieces stuck down and I'm going to just leave them uh, to set up for a few moments uh, before I punch out. So while that's going on, uh, I'm going to do a couple of other parts to the card. So the first thing is I have a piece of very vanilla. And I've run it through the hive embossing folder. Uh, this gives us a lovely um, effect. And to give it a bit of a vintagey effect, I've just got a piece of sponge here with some crumb cake. And I don't want there be to be too much in the way of, of colour. So I'm just going to just gently dab it on the side and add a bit more now you could use a blending brush for this or a sponge dauber it's just i had a piece of sponge handy left over from the the old days when stamping up used to carry them and just gently do the edges and then just go back now i've chosen to use the side where it's like is opposite to where the card is pushed up. So I'm using it the sort of dips and it just picks up the colour on the very edges of those hexes. There. So I think I'm good on that piece. The next I'm going to use some of the Heart and Home doilies. Now these come in three colours. Um but on three colours, different colours on one side. So there's misty, misty moonlight, cinnamon, cider and basic grey. But when you flip them over, they're all white on the background. 
So I'm going to do a little bit of stamping and I've chosen to use the Dragonfly Garden stamp set. And I'm using this, I think it's Echinacea, uh, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to use this particular stamp and I'm using the greeting for a true friend. So those are my two stamps. And so with my large stamp, I'm going to just stamp a couple of times on the doily so that the top flower is near is as close to that perforated edge and then i'm going to bring it this down a little ways there and i've already pre-stamped my envelope and my liner so i've just done that's my liner and there's my envelope so i've already done those And I'm going to get my watercolour pencils out. These are some of my favourites. I'm going to get that out of the way. Um, so I'm just going to use the brown to do the top of the little echinacea flowers. And then I've got my yellow. To do the petals. Some of these are actually be covered by... The little bee but i'm not going to worry too much about that now this is the granny apple green one and i'm just going to put a little bit of color on my my leaves not a huge amount you can see that i'm being real quick with with this doesn't take a long time uh, if you can see i've got i haven't quite gone to the edges of my stamped image just there but I've got my blender brush, sorry, my blender pen. And I'm just going to take my blender pen and smooch some of that green up to the edges. Now, I've done videos on, on using watercolour pencils before now. And I think I've said in the past, you have to work fast. You don't want to um, go over and over and over because it will make your paper soggy and it'll start to peel. And because I've used a water-based ink to stamp my outline, I don't want to work it too much because it'll pick up the crumb cake of my um, outline and turn my colours a bit muddy. Um, so there you can see I've filled in my green, I've taken it up to the edges. And just to remind you with your blender pen, to clean it, you're just going to rub on the side, turning gently until it runs clear. You'll still get a little bit of discoloration on the tip, but it, it doesn't affect future use. Then I'm just going to get my... Uh, sponge again and I'm just going to add a little bit of ink just to take the white down on my doily and then I think I'm I'm nearly done there right so my card base here is so saffron and I'm just going to add some ink so ink adhesive I don't quite know where my brain is today. Okay, and just firm that, uh, press that firmly down so that it takes. And we've got some stamping dimensionals. So I'm just going to pop three on the back here. And I'm just going to pop my little doily about there, I think. There we go. Then I have my greeting. Now, I've already uh, stamped and, and, pun and cut this one. And I've used the smallest circle die 
that is in one of the new die sets from the 2022 catalogue, which is called Beautiful Dark Shape Dies. And they are, they've got circles, there's ovals, there's hexagons, there's little diamonds here. So I, those of you who perhaps who do like to do patchwork quilting, this might actually make a good card. And there's a thought for me. Hmm. Okay, watch this space. We might be using those for something else. So I'm just going to put a dimensional on the back here and pop my my greeting up there and I've got my liner I always put a liner in my cards unless I've used basic white or very vanilla card base I think it just finishes it off nicely and also it gives you somewhere to write without particularly if you've got dark colors on your that you've used so there's my card as far as it goes. Now let's just finish off the, the B. So we're going to use the punch. And I'm going to trim this down a little bit. And I want you to watch this part here. So just where the little head meets the body, that's like the shoulders of, of the little B. And I'm going to be popping in my piece of cardstock and I'm going to be lining it up so that I need to trim a little bit off here. So that the shoulders of the bee are where the first stripe lands. Can you just see that? And then we can punch that out. All right. Now, while I've got my punch in hand, I've got some vellum card here and I'm just going to make some little wings with the vellum card. And a glue dot. So my glue dot is just going to attach the wings. And I'm just going to put the wings again, just where his little shoulders meet the body. That's where I put my wings there. And you can see that the glue dot doesn't really show. Wings are going to be sort of gossamer and sparkly. So this is some Wink of Stella. Now, if you haven't used this before, it's a liquid glitter and it, it paints on and it dries really quick. I think it must have like an alcohol base and you can just see. Can you just see that glitter there? And it, it, it well, it just finishes off my little bee. We're going to pop a dimensional in the middle. And then I'm going to attach it to cover up where some of this double stamping took place here when I when I stamped on my doily. And that just kind of covers up a little bit of the additional over stamping that we had. Uh, I think maybe just a couple of pearls to finish. And there we have a little punch art B. And here is the another example. I've used him on this spring sampler and I will put a link to that in my blog so you can see that in its entirety. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you follow the link below, you'll, it'll take you to my blog post, which will give you... Um, access to the recipe as well as links so that you can go and uh, purchase the the products I use to make this card if you've enjoyed the video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already done so maybe you'll go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well well thank you for joining me today bye for now